it's a great thing to get nine hundred thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars. Max, Max, his bosses were cruel. He was making nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay, that's the max he was making. Max, Max, exactly. Okay. Four figures. So, so for them to come along and say, "We'll give you a million dollars," was just like, "Oh my God, what the fuck is fucking astounding!" So he takes it. And this changes hockey forever because all of a sudden, then you've got other fantastic players who are like. kind of shatter the NHL's hold on players. If you were a player that was making $9,000 a year, um, let's say every two years your contract came up, there was no free agent to you. Basically, you were beholden to the club. If they wanted to, they just re to you. So you couldn't boost your salary. Even if you were a fucking superstar, you were always going to get paid this and favor the owners in a big, bad fucking way. That's why they're only six teams. It's like, keep everyone the fuck out. We've got the greatest scam in the world going on. Suddenly it's like, fuck them, fuck your old man's hockey league, come play with us and we'll actually pay you fucking cash money, bitch. You see the check in your old Bobby Hall? <laughs> so wait, how, did, how did he get out of his contract for Chicago? Because he just left. He was like, fuck you guys. He broke his contract. And the NHL took him to court and said, we can't break your contract. We own you. So he's like, I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> Yeah. So they did a lot of shit on Portage and Maine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 
the biggest thing to make it early to be a fucking who's like you're like Broadway or something? Center of the city. The center of the city. We're learning it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Salaries start slowly escalating after the Gretzky area, they go through the roof with the expansion into America. More teams, kind of franchises opening down here. Mid 90s, 95, Winnipeg is hurting big time because you can't sustain a small market hockey team paying massive salaries, which all of a sudden they were having to pay. So they, the, the, the owner of the team announced, like, we're going to have to sell the Jets. And the town was heartbroken, but they were like, fuck this, we're going to keep the Jets, save the Jets. And so this is, and, and this bring, bring me back to the DVD I was talking about. This is my favorite part in the DVD, the story about how they try to save the team. They all band together as a community. They raised $13 million to keep the Jets here. <laughs> Which is amazing, but it fails. And, <laughs> and the Jets go away, and they become the Phoenix Pirates, and they give that $13 million to charity. <laughs> and they give that $13 million to charity, and so the community rallied to save the team, but they, they couldn't. The economics killed it. But it's ironic, it's poetic, because the economics that began here at, what is it? Portage and Maine? <laughs> it's happening. Um, they're kind of where they say economics that eventually take the team out of the, out of the town altogether, and they lose their hockey team. This is a hockey-loving town. So what is it, 15 years later? 15 years later, all of a sudden, the, you, you know, you're cruising around on hockey sites, and there's this room where they're just like, looks like the thrashers might be moving. And you're like, get the fuck out of here. Where would they go? <laughs> to another market that just doesn't want them? <laughs> no, there's like one of two places they're gonna go, and it might just be, and then sure enough, and within a day, you start seeing people go like, fucking thrashers might be going up to Winnipeg. And if people want crazy, because it's a romantic story, you want to see the city get their fucking team back. Desperately missing. It's like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> they lost the Shot Congress stones. <laughs> Somewhere in this fucking town is an old Hindu man who's like, bring back Shiva Lingam. <laughs> Jets everywhere, man. Like they embraced the team in a big bad way because they got a chance. 